Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hound application by SoundCloud, and we're going to compare it to Google Now. Now unlike most of my videos where I have everything neatly scripted out and, you know, doing a bunch of stuff to make it look all nice, in this one I'm just going to do a flat comparison, I just have the microphone behind the camera, and I'm going to cut out the boring parts where I'm not talking or anything like that, but we're just, you know, we're going to do this on the fly without a script, so let's get right into it. Okay, folks, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to have six rounds of testing. The first round is going to be one question that I know both services can answer. The next test is going to be one question that I know neither of them can answer. The third test will be multiple questions, so I'm going to ask it like two questions in one go. The fourth test is going to be outside of the search functionality, so I'm going to ask it to like leave a note or find some music, stuff like that. And then the final test is going to be whimsy, because why not? These things should be a little bit whimsical. All right, um... Let's get right into the first test. Okay, folks, test number one. Uh, one question that I know both can answer. Okay, Hound. What is the population of Los Angeles, California? The population of Los Angeles is 3,792,621. Very good. All right, let's go over to uh, Google now. Okay, Google. What is the population of Los Angeles, California? The population of Los Angeles was 3.884 million in 2013. All right, well, the numbers are a little bit different, but Google now did say it was sourcing it from 2013. Both answered the question relatively quickly. No problems yet. Let's go to the second test. Okay, folks, the second test is one question that neither of these search engines should be able to get on the first try. Okay, Hound, what is the 32nd law of Ferengi acquisition? Showing search results for, what is the 32nd law of Ferengi acquisition? Okay, so it didn't understand the word Ferengi, and I kind of anticipated that. I knew that was going to happen. But at least, you know, that first, well, actually, no, wait, no, I'm wrong. All right, so, uh, yeah, none of these are right. Um, Hound did not do very well. Uh, what is the 32nd law of Ferengi acquisition, of course. All right, so, yeah, it didn't do that well. So let's try uh, Google now and see how that works. Okay, Google. What is the 32nd law of Ferengi acquisition? And here you see the power of Google now, you know, slightly better voice recognition. I said the exact same thing to both of them. And um, there you go. Google now wins round two. Okay, folks, for test number three, I'm going to ask multiple questions at once. Look, we all know that Google now is going to fail this one, but it's a lot of fun to watch Hound, you know, pound out all of these answers. So let's give this a shot. Okay, Hound. What is the population of Quebec? What is the capital of Norway? And what is the day that is five days after the day after tomorrow? Showing search results for what is the population of Quebec? What is the capital of Norway? And what is the day that is five days after the day after tomorrow? Okay, so there is a limit to how many questions you can ask Hound and which combination of questions you can ask Hound because this totally worked for me like five minutes ago. Okay, Hound. What is the capital of Norway and what is the population of France? The capital of Norway is Oslo. The population of France is 64,768,389. All right, and let's do the Google Now one. Okay, Google. What is the capital of Norway and what is the population of France? Right, so it doesn't quite give you everything that you need to know. I'm going to try this hound one one more time just because I think I figured out what I did wrong. Okay, hound. What is the capital of Norway and what is the population of France and what is the day that is five days after tomorrow? Okay, I guess we can't do it that way. In either case, um, Hound wins the round. It's just that there's a limit to what you can do with this application. Okay, so for test number four, I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to ask it to take a note and see what it does with the note. And then I'm going to ask it to identify a song I'm listening to. And I picked a very obscure song. Not a lot of people know this one. So we're gonna see how it works. Okay, Google, take a note to remind me to do something. Yeah, really imaginative, right? When or where do you want to be alerted? Uh, five o'clock today. Okay, do you want to save this? Yep. Saving reminder. 
All right, so it added a reminder even though I asked it to take a note, but we know that the note taking functionality actually works in Google now. I probably just did it wrong. Okay, Hound, remind me to do something. Here is your reminder. Hey, there you go. It's, it's right freaking there. <laughs> All right, well done. Uh, let's get to the music part of it. Okay, Google, what song am I listening to? All right, Google Now got it right on the money. It was, in fact, 100 million by Trouble Charger, and that is the right album. So good job, Google Now. All right, we're going to go into Hound and try this again. Okay, Hound, what song am I listening to? And there it is, they both got it right. Now, Google now wins this round because it does have a lot of stuff that I didn't test here. You know, you can find directions on Google Maps, take notes in Google Keep, and it has integration with a lot of other stuff that Hound doesn't have. Now, Hound can do some simple stuff like taking notes, you know, like you just saw me do, and <clears throat> finding music, sorry about that frog in my throat. But at the end of the day, Google now just has more functionality. It has a much wider range of things that it can do. And that's why Google now wins this round. Okay, folks, so the last test is Whimsy. We're gonna be integrating our lives with these things to some extent, and so they should be a little bit of fun to be around. You know, you should be able to have a little bit of fun with it. So let's see if you could have any fun with these. Okay, Google, let's play a game. Showing pictures matching your request. That's not what I wanted at all. Creep clown face from Saw, nope. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. and no jokes, although it did link me to a bunch of stuff where I could find jokes for myself there. So it's not terrible, but you know, it, it's not really personal. You know, you don't have a lot of personality there. It's just kind of showing you stuff. Okay, Hound, tell me a joke. I haven't slept for 10 days because that would be way too long. Okay, Hound, tell me another joke, please. Because that one sucked. Went to my doctor and told him that I broke my arm in two places. He told me to stop going to those places. Har har har. Alright, so they're cheesy, but at least it actually does tell you jokes. Okay, Hound, let's play a game. Choose a game from the list below or say quit. Oh, cool. Hangman. I didn't understand what you said. Choose a game from the list below or say quit. For the love of God. Hang man. I didn't understand what you said. Choose a game for. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to play hang man. Hang man, guess your first letter. For example, you can say H for H is in house. Okay. Okay, hound. The letter S. There are two S's. The letter R. Oh, sorry. Okay, hound. The letter R. There is one R. Okay, Hound. The letter E. There are no E's. Try again. Okay, Hound. The letter A. There is one A. Okay, Hound. Is it brass? That's the word. You win. Yay, I win. So yeah, you can play games with Hound too. And something I found a little funny, I watched or I read the review on The Verge and they said that Hound didn't have any personality, but here I am playing games with it. It tells me jokes. It seems like it has a little bit more of a personality than they give it credit for, or maybe it's just because, you know, it's not Siri, but I'm not gonna speculate any further on that. Okay, folks, here's the thing. At the end of the day, Google Now is just the more powerful personal assistant. Between all of the things that it can connect to and all of the other things that it does in the background, there's just no real question here. You know, if you want the thing that gives you the most information, that can do the most things, then Google Now is still the winner. However, with Hound, you know, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. It is actually a lot of fun to use, and while it doesn't have the, the width and breadth of things that Google Now can do, it's still pretty decent. And I do think it's disingenuous that people 
do compare the two as a parallel because Hound is in a closed beta and Google Now has been out for a couple of years now, so Google has the extra data, they have the extra development time that Hound doesn't have yet. So, you know, here in a few years, it'll be interesting to see just how much better Hound can get. Um, that about does it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority app guy. Don't forget to subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day. Okay, Google, what is the population of Ontario and what is... Oh, all right, we're gonna try that one again.